Now we're going to review the donning procedures for the Jewett TLSO. The technique we're going to be using today is the log roll technique. So this is for patients that cannot get out of the bed without the brace on. So we're going to be applying it to the patient lying down today. First we're going to orient ourselves with the brace. This is the front section with the top portion here and the bottom portion here. This piece is going to be resting on the patient's chest and this pelvic portion is going to be coming across her hips. If we look at the back of the brace, there's going to be a pad that comes across the middle of the back of the patient and it's connected to a strap that goes across the side. In order to take this strap off, we're first going to squeeze the blue button here on the left side of the brace. That allows us to unlock and unlatch the left side, putting a little bit of slack on the strap. Then we're going to look at the right side of the brace where this plastic piece is located with a blue string. If you pull the blue string forward, this moves the plastic piece to a bigger opening so you can lift it out and off of this raised screw located on the right side of the brace. Once we have the strap detached, it will still be attached on one side. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to fit the patient with this. So we're going to bring it over. And in order to fit this, she's going to roll away from me, and I'm going to push the strap underneath her. At the waist level is going to be the easiest place to push this underneath. The back pad is going to get placed in the middle of her back, right at the apex of the arch of the curve of her back. So we're going to place that there, and then have her roll back on top of the pad while you hold the pad in place. Then we're going to place the front portion of the brace on her. Again, the chest piece should be just below the patient's sternal notch, which is the soft part of the neck right above the chest bone, lying directly on the chest bone. The lower portion of the brace should be coming across the patient's hips. Once we recognize that that's in the right place, then we can come to the far side here where that plastic loop is located. We're going to pull on the blue string to get the plastic piece over top of that raised screw. Once you get it over top, it should snap into place. Make sure that you feel it snap backwards to lock it in. And then we can come over here and pull on the strap to close the box. Again, make sure you hear it snap into place to make sure it's locked. One thing to note about this brace is that your orthotist should have unlocked the pelvic portion so that it's hinged. This is for sitting purposes, so when we have our patients sit up here, she can be able to lift up this piece so it doesn't dig into the top of her thighs when she's in a seated position. Once she's sitting up, we can make sure that the chest piece and everything is still in the right place and that the back strap is nice and snug on the patient. The tighter she's able to wear it, the more support it's going to give her. This brace works off of a three-point pressure system, applying pressure at the chest level and the hips, forcing the patient backwards and pulling the spine in in the middle in the back to hyperextend the spine keeping the spine in a straight alignment. Once we make sure that all that is in place, then the patient is good to go. Your practitioner should have provided you with a set of written wear and care instructions. If you no longer have these and would like an extra set, please contact our office. If you're having any additional questions that weren't answered by the videos today, please feel free to contact our office as well, and we're more than happy to set up a Skype appointment with you or get you into one of our multiple office locations to be seen by a certified practitioner.